This spec air tutorial shows you how to fit a basic experimental spectrum. We start by opening the experimental data from air in a plasma torch. Next, we adjust our slit function, which represents the broadening of lines during the measurement. In this case, we approximate the slit function with a trapezoid that has a base of 0.66 nanometer and a top of 0.22 nanometer, as seen in the plot. To see the spectrum better, we increase the line thickness to 2. We do not know which chemical species or transition is responsible for the emission, so we select Fine Transition to automatically find a good candidate. After clicking on the Fine Transition button, Specker will search for a good matching transition based on the peak with the highest intensity. It will also find a good temperature by fitting the entire spectrum in the selected wavelength range. The standard resolution 1 nanometer is OK since our slit function is pretty close, but for very high resolution spectra, it may be better to select a higher resolution. The first suggestion is OHAX. It looks great and is reasonable since it is a main emitter for air plasmas in this temperature range. To use this suggestion, we press Update Settings. This window gives us a few options for which parameters to update in the calculation settings. In this case, we are starting from scratch, so we add only the selected transition, clear all previous settings, and update both the temperature and the wavelengths. We don't know the shape of the plasma, so the mole fraction is arbitrary in this case. We choose to optimize the parameters automatically before plotting the spectrum. Specair optimizes the temperatures through iteration by minimizing the difference between the experimental spectrum and the calculated one. The fit looks pretty good, but it's clear that there is a small experimental offset that we should adjust. We select the top peak to zoom in. The wavelength of a point on the graph can be found by placing the mouse pointer on top. The values are also displayed in the top right corner. In this case, we see that the offset is about 0.07 nanometer, so we select the experimental spectrum and select Set X Values in the data menu. By subtracting 0.07 nanometer, we get a much better agreement. It's a good idea to redo the fitting to account for this shifted spectrum, so we select Fit to Spectrum in the Tools menu. Since the plasma was close to local thermal equilibrium, we choose to vary all temperatures together and use the latest setting for the initial value. After eight iterations, we find a temperature that turns out to be within 10% of that from the previous fit. If we hide the old spectrum in blue and increase the width of the new spectrum in red, we see that the new fit agrees even better with the experiment. To conclude, we have fit a basic spectrum from an air plasma using the transition finder and fitting functionality in SPECAIR. In this example, OHAX was the relevant transition and the species was OH, which was generated from the water vapor in air. The temperature of the plasma in local thermal equilibrium was about 2400 Kelvin. For more information about SPECAIR, please visit our website at spectralfit.com.